Good evening, all of you. As today is Monday, we will be starting a new chapter, like chapter 3, and we're going to learn about the wolf and the pet dog once again. How are you all after weekend? And in the first part of the chapter, new words are given. And after we finish practice reading, we will be seeing and we will be learning what are the new words again. And see, we're going to start reading and getting ready with the fingers on the first part of the chapter where we're going to start reading long ago in a magical land where animals talk like people a wolf went for a stroll he was thin and dirty down the road he met a sleek healthy town dog the wolf wolf said hello friend what a fine coat of hair you have. You are indeed the most handsome dog I have ever seen. And the dog proudly says, I got my master's house. In return, my master gives me food, good food. His servant brushes my coat. Why don't you come with me? I'm sure my master will look after you too. And the wolf said with a lot. That means he was... Like very surprised and with attentive mind, he said, But what do you have to do to earn all this comfort? And in the next page, the dog says, Hardly a thing. I chase away people when the master's family is out of town and scare beggars away sometimes. They walked over a small hill and came to a big house. It had a huge gate. The wolf's mouth watered at the thought of the food that he would soon eat. As they were about to enter, he saw something shining on the dog's neck. It was a shining, shiny ring. Wolf, what is this? Dog and said proudly again. This is my collar. It tells people that I belong to my master. All the pet dogs wear collar. And the wolf said, stopping and surprised, he said, If I come with you, will I too belong to your master? And the dog said, Of course. And the wolf again said, Then I must say goodbye to you, friend, for I am a wild animal. I would rather be thin and hungry, but free. I don't want a master. Go in and enjoy your dinner. The wolf turned and trotted back over the green hill, whistling away like he loved his freedom. See, now we have finished practice reading and we have to read again slowly from the beginning. Long ago, in a magical land where animals talk like people, people means a lot of a human. A wolf went for a stroll. He was thin and dirty. Down the road he met a sleek, healthy town dog. Wolf, hello friend. What a fine cut of hair you have. You are indeed the most handsome dog I have ever seen. The dog proudly says, I got my master's house. In return, my master gives me good food. His servant brushes my coat. Why don't you come with me? I am sure my master will look after you too. And the wolf says, But what do you have to do to earn all this comfort? And the dog says, Hardly a thing. I chase away people when the master's family is out of town and scare beggars away sometimes. They walked over a small hill and came to a big house. It had huge gates. The wolf's mouth watered at the thought of the food that he would soon eat. As they were about to enter, he saw something shining on the dog's neck. Dog means kuta. It was a shiny ring. Oh, what is this? Dog proudly says, This is my color. It tells people that I belong to my master. All the bad dogs wear collars. That means which human beings look after. Wolf. Stopping, if I come with you, will I too belong to your master? 
Dog says, of course. Then the wolf says, then I must say goodbye for you, friend, for I am a wild animal. Uh, wild animal means those who used to stay in the jungle. Jungle merene wala, wild animals were there. I would rather be thin and hungry but free. I don't want a master. Go in and enjoy your dinner. The wolf turned and trotted back over the green hill, whistling away. He loved his freedom.